let's bring out the fighters. Please welcome to the ring, Charles Johnson. Charles Johnson from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. He's one and three with one knockout. And let me tell you, he needs to come up with a big win tonight to get him back on track against a very tough Emmanuel Etienne who's making his pro debut from Long Island. Bout about to happen here to kick off rocking fights 36. Here he is making his pro debut, Emmanuel Etienne. Emmanuel Etienne is a police officer in the 32nd precinct in New York City. He's got a lot of fans here tonight. Checking him out, making his pro debut. Let's see what this young man has. Emmanuel Etienne. Let's see what he's got in his pro debut. Okay, this is good right here. All right, obey the commands, touch gloves, come out boxing at the belt. Here we go, four round cruiserweight bout. Emmanuel Etienne in the black with silver versus Charles Johnson from Upper Marlboro, a veteran of four fights. Etienne starts out strong with a nice little jab. He's working that, touching him with that stiff jab, Etienne. Nice little uppercut. You know, four rounds, you don't have much time to wait. You got to start out quick and finish fast as well. And I think Etienne has that premise in his mind right now. Let's go fast, let's go hard, and let's go for four straight rounds. Etienne, more of the aggressor here in the first round. Nice body shot, comes up top with a nice straight right. Charles Johnson trying to weather that storm. Gets clocked with a nice left hook by Emmanuel Etienne. Ooh, nice one-two by Etienne. Put your hand. Put your hand. 
right here. Nice little exchanges inside by both men. Just about a minute left in the first round. Nice right hand by Etienne. Comes back down low with two good body shots on Johnson. You know, Johnson seems to be trying to hold on, but Etienne is getting to him with some really solid shots. Another body shot. Hard body shot. 20 seconds left in the round. Etienne looks like he is not moving backwards or forward for Etienne. Ooh, nice right, nice left hand, and right hook by Johnson. At the end of one, what a first round by Emmanuel Etienne. Emmanuel Etienne, I thought, won that first round going away. Charles Johnson never seemed to get off. Here we go, beginning of the second round. Etienne comes out and picks up right where he left off in that first round, throwing bombs at Charles Johnson. Etienne going for big, big punches. Looks like he's got Charles Johnson hurt right here. But Charles Johnson responds. He's trying to throw some punches. He's holding on. Good break by Sullivan, the referee. Ooh, nice right hand by Etienne. Nice straight right. Uh, left by Johnson. Every single punch that Etienne lands has bad intentions on it. And he wants it that way. He wants to take... Johnson out of there. He does not want to put it in the judges' hands. He wants to get this first, this first pro debut. He wants to get a knockout. It's obvious. Johnson sits on the ropes. I didn't. I didn't think that was a knockdown. Quite frankly, I thought he kind of went down. He bent down and caught that uh, that elastic rope and kind of sunk into it. And Etienne, he's going for big, big, big shots. Nice body shot by Johnson. Nice left by Etienne. Manuel Etienne, I'll tell you, he is really aggressive. I'll tell you, when he steps up to six and eight rounders, he needs to slow this pace down. I mean, uh, I can't see him going six, seven, eight rounds like this. Slips that nice left hook by Johnson. Comes up with an upper hook, uppercut. Oh, stumbles Johnson. So 
10 seconds left in the second round. Johnson holding on for dear life. Another round for Emmanuel Etienne. 2 0. Unbelievable fight for Emmanuel Etienne. His pro debut, and he's doing an incredible job. I'm sure all of his police officers and his colleagues at the 32nd precinct right now are watching him, and they're very proud of Emmanuel Etienne. Comes right out, ready to attack. Charles Johnson, third round. He better pick it up, or he's going to lose this fight 4-0. I mean, uh, Charles Johnson needs to come, and he needs to do some work right now. Disappointed he, that he got that the fight got called off immediately. As soon as he got one good shot, stumbled a little bit. Uh, the referee Sullivan, I, I you know, I listen. It's easier for me on the outside to uh, to say what I feel. I'm not in there, but you know, you got to give the guy a chance. I mean, you can't jump on him after one shot, and that's what it seemed like. Uh, even though he was taking. A lot of punishment in the first and second round. I thought after that one shot, Sullivan, you know, you can't really stop that fight after one blow. Two twenty-five of the third round. Emmanuel Etienne in his pro debut gets a big, big TKO to start off his professional boxing career. Joining me now is one of the fan favorites, somebody that, good friend of mine, hysterical guy, does so much for um, for comedy in Long Island, George Gallo. George, what an unbelievable finish for Emmanuel Etienne. That's it. I mean, he went out there, rounds one and two, yeah. dominated. It was like, almost like, this is my, this is my pro debut. I'm going to win no matter what. Yeah. I'm not going to stop throwing punches until all four rounds are over. <laughs> and he did just that. He came out and he was slamming it. Is that the end? That's the end, man. He got the knockout. And, you know, I was, looking, I was looking for you and I was really upset. Because I'm saying to myself, where is George right now? Is he doing one of his famous interviews? Is he kind of got somebody in the lobby pinned down? <laughs> you know? Um... Unbelievable. I mean, what a great way to start your pro career. Emmanuel Etienne. That was really some shot, too. Wow. The whole place went nuts. So here, we're waiting the announcement by our beautiful ring announcer. Here we go.
say, you know, what a way to start out your pro boxing career with a KO. First of all, all the nerves. You know, you're in the, you're in the dressing room.